search for life beyond Earth begins with understanding life on our home planet. And that story, the story of life on Earth, may have begun in our oceans. And that's because, of course, if we've learned anything about life on Earth, it's at where you find the liquid water, you generally find life. So what if I told you that there is an ocean out there beyond Earth, an ocean in our solar system that has been in existence for billions of years. It's an ocean that is perhaps 10 times as deep as Earth's ocean. It's an ocean that is global and may contain two to three times the volume of all the liquid water on Earth. It's an ocean that exists beneath the icy shell of Jupiter's moon, Europa. So how do we think we know that Europa's ocean exists? Well, it's a combination of using telescopes on the ground and having spacecraft that have flown by Europa and collected data about the surface, about the interior structure, and about the magnetic field around Europa. And the combination of those data sets leads us to a high degree of confidence that this global liquid water H2O ocean is there today and it's been there for much of the history of the solar system. We used to think that in order for a world to be habitable, you had to be at just the right distance from the sun or, or whatever your star was, such that you could have a liquid water ocean on the surface. Now, along with liquid water, life as we know it needs two other keystones. The first is the building blocks for life, the, the stuff you find in rocks. And the second is some form of energy to help power life. And here's where Europa is a real game changer. It is far, far out from the sun, and yet it's got this liquid water ocean. And the reason that Europa has liquid water is because it's orbiting Jupiter, and the tidal tug and pull causes Europa to flex up and down, and all that tidal energy turns into mechanical energy, which turns into friction and heat that helps maintain this liquid water ocean beneath an icy shell. Along with helping maintain liquid water, we think that tidal energy may also allow that ocean to interact with rocks on Europa's seafloor. And it may even give rise to things like hydrothermal vents, which could help provide not just the building blocks for life, but also the energy for life. The question of whether or not life exists beyond Earth, the question of whether or not biology works beyond our home planet is one of humanity's oldest and yet unanswered questions. And for the first time in the history of humanity, we have the, the tools and technology and capability to potentially answer this question. And we know where to go to find it. Jupiter's ocean world, Europa. The Europa Jupiter System mission is a partnership between ESA and NASA to send two spacecraft to the Jupiter system, one to orbit Europa, the other to orbit Ganymede, to understand what we're phrasing as the emergence of habitable worlds around gas giants. Subsurface oceans are certainly the key driver for exploration of these worlds. Europa is a fascinating place with an ocean that might be only tens of kilometers below the surface and may communicate actively with the surface through eruptions, through icy convection, blobs of warm ice moving up to the surface, through cracking, breaking of the ice. 
it. So there could be signs on the surface of what's going on deep down below the surface. So what we can do with a spacecraft in orbit around Europa is measure how Europa flexes as it's stretched by Jupiter's gravity. That tells us something very specific about how stiff that ice shell is. And by how stiff it is, we can get a measure of its thickness. Europa is a maybe rarer example of an ocean in contact with a rocky mantle. Ganymede actually might be a more common example of an ocean where it's, it's an ocean sandwich, ice above and below. Callisto, the relatively dead world, has not the level of activity that Europa and Ganymede have, yet we think that Callisto has an ocean beneath its surface. It's not out of the question that if there are liquid water oceans down there, and there's heat, and there's energy, that there could possibly be life. The Europa spacecraft will make three or four close flybys of Io, the most volcanically active world in our solar system. In fact, we might even be able to fly through one of these volcanic plumes and sample the material that's spewing out. And we're not gonna forget the big guy either, Jupiter. We're gonna be able to make observations of Jupiter and its rings as we orbit for about two years. What's really compelling about these worlds is our search for whether there is life elsewhere, not just in the solar system, but in the universe. Can these be habitable environments? That's really what drives these worlds to the top of the list of places to explore.